Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to explore miter folding as an edge treatment. I think you're going to really like this. Sometimes existing methods of edge banding may not work for you. Uh, often the edge banding is not available for some of the exotic plywoods. So you have to have a way of handling that. Now you could glue strips on, but what really works well is a concept we call miter folding. And it's really simple. We basically take a large V-bit and we, we really just tool pattern down a straight line but we want to leave a certain amount of material and that thickness is critical and, and that becomes the hinge, then that allows us to fold that miter up and it creates a beautiful square corner and now you're seeing the same material that's grained on the side. Let me show you how that works. All right, we're looking at the top of a part. We're in Rhino and I did that so you can see the graphics a little better. All right, so all I did was I made a V cut down through here. Now this, was, this is a 90 degree angle, so I used a 90 degree V bit. Now, they actually sell V-bits that are one or two degrees off. Uh, that's fine, but if everything's machine correctly, you don't need it. Now, um, it probably doesn't hurt. It, what they try to do is, is cut this a little more pointed so this corner stays closed. But if everything fits right, that shouldn't be necessary. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a V-bit and we're gonna do it multiple passes, probably do four passes, and we're just cutting down on a straight line so that shouldn't be any exotic things. But what you can't see here is I've left some material. And the, that material is called the hinge because that's what actually, when you fold it, that hinge stays connected and there's an optimum thickness for that. And on this particular test, I found a 15,000 worked really well. I tried uh, more and less and 15 worked pr pretty well. Then once you've got it cut, then you put painter's tape behind here to reinforce the hinge before you start moving stuff around. And once you do that, then you put the glue on it and fold it around. Okay, and so when you're done, this becomes, uh, it's like a style, and you can make it any width you want. So that's one way to do that. Now, but I thought, well, what if you have a shelf? What if I've just got a simple shelf? And so when you come over here, here's the solution. I kept thinking in my mind, there has to be a graphic solution that does this. And so this is what it is. That's a 45. Okay, then the distance from here to here is the thickness of the material, and the distance from here to here is the thickness of the material, and when you fold it all up, this is what you get. Now, sometimes you may have a problem right in here when it all goes together. There may be a visible line. In some instances, it doesn't matter if it's the underside of a shelf or the inside of a cabinet. You can also use a trick they use in the furniture industry. So if they have two surfaces that should line up perfect, but they, for some reason they can't do that, maybe they can't sand them then what they'll do is they'll cut a tiny little groove there called a furniture groove, and all it is is just enough space that you can't really see that they don't line up perfect. So you could do that. And once again, that would be on the inside of the cabinet. Now, if we look at that in 3D, that's what these parts look like. All right, this is our setup in VCar Pro. The material is actually uh, 48 by 24. It's, it's three quarter inch Baltic birch, but if you measure it, it's 0.69. Right, and then I've got some geometry here. These straight lines are actually for for the uh, miter fold cuts for the V-bit, and this is to cut the outside out. Now let's look at our tool pass. Open that up, let's look at the miter first. First off, the depth of cuts, 0.675, where did that come from? Well, let me show you a little secret about V-Car Pro. You go to Z, Z is the variable for how thick the material is, so it's whatever you set up over here, minus, how thick do you want the hinge point? 0, 1, 5 equals. And VCar Pro calculates that for you. So that's that's a really handy little thing to do. I probably also want to go on multiple passes. So let's just say give me four passes. Because I want the cutter to cut its way in. It's on the line. And let's just hit calculate. And there's our paths. So when we simulate that, here's what's going to happen. There's our four pieces of four cuts, all right? Then the last thing we need to do is actually come over here. And this is the outside cut, and we're just cutting it out, just like you cut any other part and cutting through. Let's go back to simulation, and let's do this when we select that. That cuts it out, and that produces our part. And then we can take that part and actually uh, fold it up. 
Our simulation looks great. Now let's go out to the machine and visually validate that this concept works. Now we've finished the machining, let's do the next step. So the first thing we want to do is, is carefully lift this off the table. We want to specifically make sure we don't break it at those hinges. So we turn it over and then we take painter's tape and tape on there and that helps reinforce that. It keeps it from splitting. So we do that first before we put glue on it. Now you want to apply glue to the mitered areas. Be sure it gets smoothed out real well. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use actually painter's tape to help clamp it. So it makes sense to go ahead and get a bunch of strips of that ready before you glue. Then once you put the glue on it, then you fold it around. And I usually start in the middle with a piece of tape and, and tape it tight and then work your way out on both ends. The tape becomes the clamp and we want it to hold all that in place until the glue dries. Now do the same thing to the other edge. Now that the glue's dried, let's remove the tape and see how it looks. It looks really, really good. That's all it takes to use miter folding as an edge treatment. Using your ShopSaver CNC router to do miter folding as an edge treatment for panels turned out really, really nice. It's certainly something I'm going to use in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at ShopSaber.com. Thank you for watching.